Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambulite Rejection Technology Game Times 2 and 3. Um, I'm going to be going back and forth on this topic. Now, how does this affect me and my company? Well, I'll get a customer in, they may have one of these projectors, and he'll say, well, you know, your screen paint doesn't look good on our proje on my projector because on the white wall it looks fantastic but on your black screen paint or dark gray screen paint it looks really really bad and the wall looks better and the reason why is because these particular knockoff projectors are designed to look good on a white surface they can't produce an image on a uh, black screen or gray screen because they come up um, they come up dark and dirty and then due to the fact that the lumen counts is a lie. I said lumen counts on this one is probably around 20 lumens, but you'll see what I'm talking about. I have a demonstration set up downstairs. Now I purchased this projector. I had about two or three people come in my channel and said, I own this projector. This projector looks fantastic. I would suggest you um, remove your comment because when I show you, when I show everybody what this projector really does, you might want to remove that comment from off my page. I left it on there, but you might want to remove it. All right, so. First things first, let me show you the projector that I ordered. This was supposed to be 4,000 lumens, 1080p, 3D projector. Um, now keep in mind, people that are buying projectors for the first time, it's not their fault because they buy these and they think they're really getting the best at $43.88, but they're not. They get this projector home and it looks like crap. It really looks like crap. And some of them really don't know what a real good projector looks like, so they'll get it and they, they're convinced that it looks really, really good because it's the first time seeing a projector turned, it's the first time experiencing a projector. They don't really know exactly what they're really missing, all right, what a real projector is supposed to look like. So this is also to a bit of an educational video telling you that, bottom line, if you buy this projector, you know, this is the crap. This is how it's going to look. Now, keep in mind, um, at the end of the day, as I said before, I have bills to pay, you know, but I will turn you away if you own one of these projectors because I know the outcome, I know the headache it's going to bring me down the road, and if you basically come to me and say, hey, look, can you help me find a projector? I will help you find a projector. I will be compatible with our technology, which is just about any name brand projector, and it won't cost you an arm or leg. I bought projectors for 90 bucks. I bought projectors for uh, 50 bucks. I have bought some really amazing projectors off eBay, really good merchants, and I can show you exactly where to get a very good projector. As a matter of fact, I helped the customer get a uh, Mitsubishi, I don't know, it was a Mitsubishi? Uh, I think it was. No, it was a BenQ, BenQ projector, BenQ projector, uh, 3300 lumens, 720p. And keep in mind, a lot of people may, some people may snub their nose up at 720p, but when we do demonstrations, the majority of our demonstrations are done in 720p, and our projector screens look incredible. So our screen paint can make a 720p projector. Now, somebody might come out there and say, no, you might not want to go near 720p. It looks like this. Well, it looks like this on your technology. It doesn't look like that on ours. So let's not get that twisted. All right, so here we go. 4,000 lumens, 1080p, what this projector is claiming to be. This is the one I bought. Let me show you the screen. Now, this is what it's displaying in the advertisement. You're going to get a screen this this huge, this clear, this beautiful. Keep in mind, we all know this is Photoshopped or whatever. But um, for those who don't know, yes, it's a Photoshop image. All right. Now, keep in mind, this is probably about a 120-inch screen right here. All right, we'll see. Now we'll scroll down to the bottom because people, some people don't look at the specifications. But if you do care to look at the specifications, you notice the projector is claiming to be resolution 1080p, right? And the native resolution on the projector is 1920 by 1080. Now I happen to have the projector. I bought it. Came in today. Here it is, right here. It's the same projector right here. I'll look at it right here. Let's see. All right there's the projector there, and then we'll scroll up. And we'll grab this one right here. Picture the projector right there. And we'll go up. So yes, exact same projector. Just bought it today, or just bought it a couple, a couple of day, a couple of days ago, a couple of days ago. Okay, so let me go into my purchase history and share all the stuff I buy. And these are they're all projectors. All I buy is projectors right there. So there's my projector right here that I purchased. Same projector right there. Claiming to be four thousand lumens. Full 1080p mini projector. Price I paid for it was $43.88. Uh, shipping was free. Alright, now, same projector right here that I ordered. Alright, let's, let's look at the back of this. On the back of this, it's claiming that is, 
my camera to focus a little better. It's claiming that it, the resolution is not 1920 by 10 by 1080, but the resolution is 320 by 180. What happened to the full 1080p? Contrast is 500 to 1. Look at the brightness, the lux, still lumens, is 400, not 4,000, 400. It says 400 here. Well, 4,000 here, sorry, 4,000 here, 1080p, and over here we have 400 lux at 320 by 180. All right, so clearly we see that we did not get what we purchased for, purchased, all right, but it's claiming to be 400. So we're going to go with 400, it's 400 lumens, all right? That's still not bad, right? Now keep in mind, this projector right here is a Dusonic projector that is 1080p, that is um, 4,000 lumens. That's a 4,000 lumen projector right there. Also, too, we got the white sheet of paper right there. I'm going to show you real quick. That's a 4,000 lumen projector on my screen right there. And that's the black screen paint. Now, I'll show you why that white sheet of paper is there in a few minutes. All right, so let's pop downstairs. All right, I got them set up. You can see what the projector looks like. And you can see what I bought for $48. I had somebody tell me once, they said, you know what? You got to spend more money for an expensive, uh, cheap projector. It doesn't even sound right. Expensive, cheap projector in order to get a, um, a, better, a better picture. No, you're not. It's still going to be crap. It's still going to be crap. All right, so. There is the projector right there. There it is right there. That little mini box right there. There is the projector right there. Power cord. It has some kind of DC adapter. It has a self-chargeable battery, so it does become um, completely, you don't have to use a charger, HDMI, USB. There's an AV for, um, for one for AV out, sound out for sound bar, and the other one for headsets. And then on this side, oh guess we get the focus and adjustment on this side. The focus is on the top. And that's the basic button power cord. So this is it. This is the projector that's supposed to be full 1080p. It's a full 1080p projector, 4,000 lumens. Now over here, this projector is 50 lumens. Now keep in mind, let's take away the 4,000 lumens because we know this is not 4,000 lumens. There it is right there. That's the projector right there. We know that's not 4,000 lumens, but it's saying it's 400 lumens. So let's go with 400 lumens. This is a 50 lumen projector. That's 50 lumens right there. You've seen me use this a few times in my demonstration. It's a 50 lumen projector. That's it. And it's running off a chargeable battery. I got it running through my PS4 right now. Now, how is this that this projector is claiming on this side, even just to be 400 lumens, and this is 50? That's pretty sad. And over here, this is what came with it. This is how small the box is. Wrapping, remote control, power cable, and instructions on the projector right there. So it's an, it's an SMP series projector. Now we'll take the lights out. And see what we get from 400 lumens. And keep in mind, both projectors are at the same distance, all right? Now, at the same distance, as you can see, the, the um, 50 lumen projector, it's producing a much bigger screen where that's the biggest the screen I can get from this particular um, distance. So that thing's not gonna go any bigger. It's gonna go any bigger, but the picture quality is gonna wash up. Now, watch this. Keep in mind, 50 lumen projector, we're gonna slide it over. I'm gonna slide it over right in front. If I can get the cord to move over. There we go. We're gonna slide it right over in front. And it's a little crooked. Actually, we're gonna straighten it up a bit. Get more cord over here. Let's see what we got snagging over here. Got a little cord snagging over here. Oh, okay, okay. HDMI cables fight me a little bit. All right, there we go. So I want to even Steven. So we're going to move that right in front of the projector claiming to be uh, 4,000 lumens. 4,000 lumens, keep in mind, that's what it, uh, it claims to be, 4,000. 
but yet I'm able to wash it out with a projector of only 50 lumens. I'll put the specification of this projector in the bottom of the description and you can look for it for yourself and see the, def the specification for the 50 lumen projector that I purchased off Amazon. All right, make sure there's exactly right next to each other. And I'm gonna come over here and turn my lights on so you can see exactly what we got going on. As you can see that both projectors are side by side, same length, same distance. And the only thing that's picking up on that screen is the 50 lumen. Now I'm gonna block the 50 lumen just to show you that the other one is running and unblock it. I'm gonna pick up the 50 lumen projector so you can see that this is the 50 lumen projector running right there. Don't anybody think I'm playing a, 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 any smoke and mirrors? No. This projector is not even 400 lumens. It's not. Alright, so let's turn this off. Alright. I'm gonna turn this one off because I gotta use this later on for another demonstration. All right, so we're gonna come back here. I'm going to disconnect the Chromecast, all my cables behind here. All right, and we'll take the 50 lumen projector. What am I tangled around? Every time I take this thing apart, I'm always tangled around something. Something's always tangled around something. Take out our power cord here. Move all that together. Okay, my cord, cables, and projector. Now we're gonna pop upstairs. Tired there. All right. So now I'm gonna take it, and we're gonna put it against the actual 4,000 lumens. You know this is gonna be really sad, but hey, it has to be done. Put our Chromecast in right there. Okay, we'll put the projector right here, right there, and. Put our power cord in, right about there. Sorry about that, let me set this down for a minute. Okay. Power cord, Chromecast, and we'll turn it on. Oh, da -da, sorry, forgot to put the power in. Actually, literally forgot to put the power in. Okay. Okay, hold on for a minute. Gotta put this down for a minute. Here we go. Okay. Now it's powering on right now. I think it is. Hit again. Okay, pretty nice. There we are. So now it's powering on. Now keep in mind, in the advertisement, this was claiming to be 4,000 lumens, 1080p. This projector right here is 4,000 lumens, 1080p. Now it's on. I'm gonna show you something really important. I told you that projectors like this do not have the ability to produce uh, um, HD um, because HD screens usually pull up, a uh, projector's HD or 4K is going to pull up on a dark screen which is gray and it's going to pull up on a screen that's black, all right? This screen is actually black. So I'm going to put this projector in blank mode real quick, all right? And the only screen we're going to get, it should be popping up. All right, let me see. I think my Chromecast canceled out. Because when I pulled it, it's running through my cell phone. So let me grab my cell phone real quick. Disconnect this. Okay. Let's see if we can uplink this again. There we go. All right. So I'm going to go in again. Disconnect. I'm going to go back in again. And we're going to reconnect. All right. So. Should be reconnecting in a few minutes. And I'm going to turn this around to the wall. So you can see that there is an image popping on. So there it is. Image is on. And I'm going to come over here. 
and I'm going to try to see if you see right here it's not showing up at all I'll take the piece of paper and I'll bring it down a little lower right there all right Now you see it's not coming on. What I'll do is, so it doesn't distract too much, I'll take out the overhead lights here and here. There we are, and we have no overhead lights. So it's on. All right, so we can see we can adjust it just a little bit. There we go, you can see a little bit of it. Take our lights out. Nothing's really coming up there, so you're not gonna be able to see it at all. It's only going to be to produce on a white surface, that's it. Let's try it again with something else. It's going to get anything to pop up on it. Alright, there we are. Now, you see that white sheet of paper in the middle? That's what I mean by it only can produce an image on a white surface only. Now, if this was a true HD projector, it wouldn't show up on the white screen. It would only show up on the black screen. That's how I tell you that these projectors cannot produce a HD image. Because if it could produce an HD image and it was 4,000 lumens, it would show up on the black screen with no problem whatsoever. Now, let's come over here and let's check my projector off black mode. Over here. If I can figure out where I can find the button at. Now, that's the 4,000 lumen projector. If you notice, it shows up on the black screen but it doesn't show up too well on the white screen because this is a 1080p projector. A 1080p projector is going to produce a better image, a better quality image on a dark screen or a black screen or a gray screen. But a projector that's not 1080p, not even near 720p, is only going to be to produce an image on a white surface. That's why every time you watch demonstrations of people doing reviews on these particular knockoff projectors, it's always done on a white wall, that's it, or a white screen, that's it. They cannot produce an image on a um, dark or gray surface. That's why we get the problems when people say, look, it looks better on the white wall than it does on the black screen. I can't see it. And that's the reason why you can't see it, because your projector is not full HD. Your projector is not even 4K. Now, if I go to turn my lights on, especially with us having the only technology that separates from everybody else, we have ambient light technology gain, which means the screen can pull images up in fully lit environments. We don't have to sit in the dark. And it just shows you in this video demonstration, even with a projector of 4,000 lumens, full 1080p, and if you're using a white screen, this is what you're getting. That's the picture quality that you're getting right there. So that, that just shows you not only if you use a knockoff projector, you're really not getting full HD, but even if you have a projector of 4,000 lumens, 1080p, you're not getting your projector's quality. You're not getting HD. You're getting a washed out image. That's what you're getting. And that's what the white screen, the white piece of paper, or yeah, piece of paper is, is representing. That's what you're getting from a white screen. Now I'll knock out my projector. 4,000 lumens, I'll knock it out again. Put it in blank mode. And we have our projector right here. Now keep in mind, what you saw in the demo, what you saw in the ad, this should be able to produce a very, very large image. Let's come over here and let's pull our projector back. Now keep in mind, we're from here to here. Look at the image we're getting from here. I'm gonna go back. Try to be as fair as possible in this demonstration. I'm gonna grab my chair. It's kind of late, so I have to be quiet here. I'm gonna stick our projector right here. It's on a white wall, because that's the only way they show up. I'm gonna stick it on a white wall, way over here. I'm going to adjust the focus a little better. That's the best we're gonna get on the focus. Look at the picture quality. See what I mean? It's gonna show up. It's going to easy show up. Now, watch this. That's 400 lux or 4,000, whatever that's supposed to be. Not sure. Come over here and we'll grab the 
50 lumen projector of 720p. 